What's going on, y'all? How you doing? Well, you see everything that's happening right now. I don't want to blow smoke up your butt and call it potpourri because we know it's not. Well, one thing I can tell y'all, man, this is something to really take to heart. We are seeing history literally repeat itself. When political parties start pushing incarceration by their opponents and things of that nature, that's where you're getting into dictatorship and all, and that is where uh, everybody from Lenin, Stalin, Mao, Saddam, Hitler, Mussolini, Pol Pot, all of them, they're all mass murderers of their own population. And it all started off with the police arresting and crooked politicians signing the bills and all they needed to to arrest and incarcerate these people. Now, there are many of us that don't think that it will go that far. They think that, uh, yeah, most of the time these people will self, self-destruct themselves when they, when they're being found out to, uh, save their family, uh, name and all, they do the same thing like old John McCain and, uh, Bush Sr. did. They were both put to death. They agreed to be put to death. George Bush Sr. gave them all up. Yeah, so it was, uh, <laughs> it's all coming out to the very, very end, and the ones that had the chance to get out, they got out, but there's others that are going to ride this train until the, the tracks run out. <clears throat> but one thing, too. Like what I've been telling you, it just depends on how desperate they are. How much they want to literally bring us down because they didn't get their way. That's what it comes down to. You know, like I say, Hitler said that if Germany was to lose, then they needed to lose to a, a, a more powerful people or and all. And, you know, hello. But they were actually led down the road through the propaganda and the BS and the people that were raised on their electronics at the time, which was radio. They didn't have video or anything, but they still got the, got the message out. Well, now we have so much technology and people are just inundated with all kinds of crap now that Everything is happening so fast. They, most people won't know what's true and what's not. You see what I mean? That's, that's what the problem is. Most people won't know what's true and what's not. But the biggest thing that I can tell you is that uh, just take care of you and yours. Think about what you're going to need for your house, your household, your Kids, grandkids, yourself, you know. That's what you really need to do. Don't worry about everybody else. Try to get you a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a, you know, asset going to where you have some things to fall back on. Because I'm still to the, to the point. You really want to do anything to us, you just hit our power grid. Hit our power grid. I mean, it's just going to... Yeah. The refrigeration in the stores, not only all the lights being off and everything, not being able to get any money, gas, food, all that, and then plus dealing with each other when nobody's able to sit around and, and stare at their phones for hours. Think about that. Yeah, that's what I'm, uh, 
I mean, I, I like going out into the woods and all that kind of stuff and sitting in the blind by myself or, you know, just with somebody else and being nice and quiet. They don't bother me. <laughs> <clears throat> but I think that's what we're headed. If you're going to really bring down the nation and you want to cause more chaos and all, that would be the biggest deal. You can take one thing that everybody uses and, yeah. Everybody be running around like chicken with their head cut off. Just go back to the basics. What would you need for you and yours? Like I was telling people before, you know, look, put your phones down, turn the TV off and all, and that's how, how it would be. How would you act? If you don't know anything about camping or... Like I was talking, telling other people to, you know, find out about cooking on a grill, on an open flame. You know, look into learning some camping stuff or whatever. Get out of the house because it might come down to it. <laughs> it just might come down to it. So I didn't want to chat you up too much. I just want to let you know what was happening, what's going on, what I'm thinking about it. And, you know, there's nothing we can do until it's over. And God knows what it's going to do until it's over. Right? <laughs> Y'all be good. I'll be back. I got more. Later.